Hey everyone, The Natural Art Freak here, excited to bring to you all a new modeling series of an Audi R8 V10 Plus. I am so excited about this one because uh, uh, I was so excited about the outcome and uh, I'm really happy to be teaching you guys how to achieve this in Blender. So uh, go ahead and have your uh, Blender opened up and before we begin this, I want you to go ahead and then leave a like on this video right now and subscribe if you haven't. And for those who can consider supporting me, I have a Patreon page. I want you guys to go over there and at least consider supporting me with just a dollar. It will be very much appreciated uh, and will be put to good use which will benefit both of us in the future. So right now I only have a Patreon. His name is Derek. Derek, thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Uh, any amount is very welcome and I would, appreciate, I would appreciate it if you guys could uh, support me as well. So yeah, let's go back into Blender. If you open up Blender, this is what you're going to have, okay? So just click on the splash screen to get rid of the splash screen. And if you haven't downloaded the blueprints in the previous video I posted, you can go ahead and download that blueprint, including the reference images we're going to be using. Link in the description for you guys to get it. Just go ahead and get all of those things. And also go ahead and get the mat caps that we're going to be using in this one, okay? So I'm going to press A once or twice to select every object in here and delete it. So to install the mat cap, what you want to do is to go over to this shading tab over here. Press it to bring it down, go over to the markup, click on this gear icon right here. Once you click on that gear icon, you're going to see install over here. Okay, so once you click on that install, it's going to bring up a, a new, uh, what do you call it, window for you. So in this window, you want to go over to Blender stuff or wherever you have your markup. Go over and find wherever you saved your markup. To me, mine is in Blender old markups and uh, that's 2.79's markup. So just, the link will be in the description for you guys to get the markups as well. Just select everything with A and then just click on install custom studio and you're good to go you should now be able to find all those mat caps and that mat cap here this uh, section over here all right so once you have that installed we can go ahead and then begin the whole modeling process but before we begin obviously we're not going to need the timeline over here so we're going to get rid of the timeline by hovering our mouse in that corner and then just left click and drag it down let me go ahead and enable this for you guys so you can see what i'm doing i'm just going to offset it in the x-axis a bit to about here all right, so you can take a look down here in case you don't know what button I pressed to achieve whatever action that you see. So we're going to go ahead in the first step, we're going to go ahead and then add in a, uh, a reference image or four reference images, which are going to act as the blueprints we're going to be using for the modeling of the vehicle. So first of all, let's press T and then get rid of the toolbar. And also we're going to go over into our preferences, all right? So we're going to go to edit preferences and uh, uh, editing right here. You want to change the align to here to view okay by default it's going to be on world i wanted to change it to view as we're going to be adding the objects to face us whenever we add it in all right i don't know if that makes sense to you but i'm going to explain that to you later and i also want you to go ahead and go to the add-ons and then add in the new add-on called uh, images as planes we're going to use that some point in time and then i also want you to add in bolt factory we're going to use that some point in time and i also want you to add in loop tools and it's called loop tools make sure you enable all those add-ons and also you want to enable node wrangler add-on so the node wrangler add-on as well enable all those add-ons and make sure you have your preferences saved and then just close that tab and we're good to go so we're going to press shift and a to add in a reference image we're going to press shift and a go over to image and we're going to click on reference all right so go to wherever you saved your blueprint in my case is under audi r8 v10 plus here and when you open that up you're going to have two separate types of uh, blueprints set up okay so there's the one with the black background and there's the one with no background so uh, whichever suits you whichever you want to use you can go ahead and use but i find that the one with the alpha is much more uh, efficient so i'm going to go over I'm going to go ahead and then use the ones without the background. So I'm going to add in the front alpha. And as you can see, when we added it in, the blueprint was facing us in this viewport. And that was the uh, preferences we enabled in the uh, preferences tab under the editing tab for the preferences. You can see the object is facing us. Now to undo this rotation, we're going to press Alt and R to reset the rotation. And we're going to press 1 to see where our front view is. In this case, it's over here. So we're going to press R and then X and type in 90 to rotate it to face us in the front view right here. So once we've done that, we're going to go over to the images tab right here. I want to enable transparency and I want to enable the side to which the image is going to be visible to be the front. Okay, so just click on the front and when you go to the back, it's not going to be visible just like that. So what we're going to do now is to press G and then Y and move this back 
to about some point here i want to make sure this is not visible in a perspective view as we're going to be doing the most of the most modeling in the orthographic view so just disable the perspective tab over here and you're good to go so now let's go over to front view and you can see our image is visible in front orthographic as you can see up here so now i'm going to go ahead and go into the objects tab and make sure this is not selectable at all because we know we don't want to make the mistake of moving it while we model so we're going to make sure it cannot be selected at all so if you try selecting that object it will not be selected no matter how hard you try it's not going to be selected all right so once we have that done we're gonna go ahead and then add in another blueprint, which is, uh, let's say the side blueprint right here. And again, it is uh, oriented into our view. So we're gonna press Alt and R and uh, reset the rotation. And make sure while you add in those reference images, your Keza is in the world origin, okay? You don't wanna misplace, you don't wanna move the Keza around as you add in the uh, blueprint images. All right, so we're gonna press R to rotate this in the Z axis to get the orientation right. So I'm gonna type in 90 to rotate it in the right direction like that. And after that, I'm going to rotate it in the y-axis as well and type in 90 to give it that direction. So now I'm going to go over to the objects, I mean the images tab. Let's enable transparency. Enable the side to which it should be visible, as you can see. And we're also going to enable, I mean disable the perspective view. And let's press G and then X and move this back to about here. And the final thing we have to do is to make sure it's not selectable. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the images. All right, so once you have that done, you're gonna have your images set up like this. Now, one thing I forgot to do is to press G. Let me make sure this is selectable again. And I'm gonna move this in the Z axis, yeah, to be down there. And I'm gonna make it unselectable. All right, there we go. So once you're done, you're gonna make you're gonna see that none of the images is selectable and all of them are oriented right. So if I go to the front view, we have the front view. If I go to the side view, we have the side view. If I go to the back, we have the back. And if I go to the top, we have the top. Now, if you added this in with the Keza being somewhere else, you wanna go ahead and then reset the Keza uh, location to the world origin and then re-add in those images again, or else you're not gonna get the result you need. All right, so once we have that, now we're gonna go up here into the, we're gonna go up here into the, uh, outline over here. I'm going to take all of these blueprints. I want to move them to a new collection. Make sure your mouse is in this region here. Press M, select new collection and then type in blueprints. And then automatically you're going to move under that uh, collection over here. Now I'm going to move this collection above the collection over here. And that's pretty much it. Now if we add in a new object, make sure this collection is selected. If we add in a new object, that object is going to add is going to be added into this collection so this one is only for blueprints and this is for the new objects that we add in all right so that's pretty much it for this video i'm going to press ctrl and s to save this and i want to save it on the uh, saves right here i'm going to save it as audi r8 v10 plus and uh yeah that's pretty much it yeah so this is why i'm going to end this video and uh i'll see you guys in the next video